Hi chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. If you are new here, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you in advance for subscribing and hitting the notification bell for new videos. So this is the full recipe for the whiten fish from the shorts video. Let's check out the ingredients. I have one bag of pan ready whiten. You can also use the filleted whiten for this recipe. And the bag comes with four fish. I have some Tony Shashir's Creole seasoning. I have some dry parsley flakes. I have some garlic powder. I have Obe seasoning, which is one of my favorite seafood seasoning. I have a juicy lemon, but you can also use a lime. This ingredient is optional, but I have some lemon blend juice. I have some chopped onion, some chopped bell peppers, some chopped green onions, some fresh parsley from my vegetable garden. I have some olive oil as well as some vegetable oil some green seasoning these are all the ingredients for this recipe the first thing i'm going to do is place all my fish in a large bowl so the first thing i'm going to do is remove the fins from each fish and i'm being very careful not to get poked and i'm using my kitchen scissors to do that so since the fish is still a little frozen i'm adding some of that lemon blend juice as well as some cool water and I'm going to continue removing the fins whilst the fish is soaking so for the next step I'm going to remove the bone from the fish and there's different ways to do it but this is how I chose to do it so I turn the fish on the back and I'm splitting it straight down I make a cut on each side of the bone and with one pull I pull the bone out so my fish has been cleaned rinsed and cut in half so next I'm going to slice that juicy lemon and squeeze that juice over the fish. If you don't have a lemon, you can use a lime. And I usually like to drop it in the bowl and rub it a little bit on each piece of fish. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite fish. Once I'm done, I'm going to rinse it under cool water. My fish is ready to be seasoned, so I'm covering my fish with some Obe seasoning as well as some Tony Shashir dry seasoning. I'm adding about 2 teaspoons of green seasoning. I'm covering the fish with some garlic powder. I'm rubbing the seasoning onto the fish and I'm making sure to spread the seasoning evenly throughout all the pieces of fish. I'm adding 2 additional teaspoons of green seasoning as well as the Obe seasoning. I'm lightly covering the pieces of fish that did not get any seasoning with some garlic powder. I'm using my hands to spread that additional seasoning. I'm adding about a teaspoon of olive oil to the baking dish. I'm adding some bell peppers, some onion and some parsley to 3 pieces of fish and I'm placing it in the baking dish. I'm drizzling some olive oil over the fish so that the skin can be crispy as well as some obe seasoning which is optional i'm baking them for about 20 to 30 minutes or until they are golden brown i'm preheating about a cup and a half of vegetable oil i have two cups of pre-sifted flour and i'm going to coat each piece of fish and set them aside i don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah and I'm also making sure to shake off the excess flour of the fish. Now I'm checking to see if the oil is ready, but you can also drop a pinch of flour to check the oil. My oil is hot, so I'm going to add a few pieces of fish to the oil. I'm going to cook it on medium heat until both sides are golden brown and slightly crispy. The fish is golden brown and ready. I'm going to drain the excess oil. I'm repeating these steps with the remainder of the fish. So guys, both fish are done. So guys, look at that color. Crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside, full of flavors. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. So here's the baked fish and it tastes 
and looks amazing as well. So guys, these are my two whiting fish recipes with one bag of whiting fish. You can use this recipe for any other fish. I served my fish with some rice and beans. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye.